Hey guys, if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Today isn't a lesson per se. It's more of me just sharing a concept that I figured out when I first started playing guitar. Hopefully it helps you out. Let's check it out. Now one of my favorite guitar players of all time is Jimmy Page. To me, Jimmy Page is a complete package when it comes to rock stars. The guy writes cool songs, he writes cool solos, he writes cool riffs, heck he even looks cool playing the riffs. To me, Jimmy Page is a bona fide rock star. Bonafide. Bonafide. So if you're looking to improve your rock guitar skills, you really can't go wrong using Jimmy Page as a reference. So today I want to talk about what I call Pagey Tonics, which is basically an approach to the pentatonic scale that Jimmy Page uses so often in his playing that I decided to give it a name. So what is this magical scale that Jimmy uses? Well first, for reference, let's take a look at the first position minor pentatonic scale that we all know and love also known as the box scale, and it goes something like this. Now this scale works just fine and will provide you with many years of bluesy rock goodness, but if you want to change it up a little bit, just switch the fingering a little bit and you get this. Welcome to one of the signature scales behind the magic of Pagey aka the Pagey Tonic. All right, so what Jimmy Page is doing here is he's basically combining some notes from some neighboring pentatonic scale positions and creating a pentatonic scale that is cooler and more efficient in a lot of ways. It flows something like this. Alright, so to demonstrate the magic of the Pagey Tonic, I thought I'd share four examples of how Jimmy Page might use this in a song, or you might too. Just a quick note before we get to the sound samples. All the examples today will be played in the A minor pentatonic scale position to keep us on the same part of the neck for those of you following along at home. First up is the whole lot of love approach. Goes something like this. In this approach, Jimmy starts at the top of the scale and works his way to the center of the scale. Second, let's look at what I call the living loving approach. In this version of the scale, he's once again hanging out at the top end of the scale. He even throws in another note for some flair. It's another signature thing that Jimmy Page does. Up third is the stairway approach. It goes something like this. Now in this version of the scale, you get to see how this fingering allows you to move up the neck in a more efficient way. And this one's called the good times approach. Now this one's more of an inspired by lick. Check it out. In this version, you can see how this fingering lets you move up the neck and look cool. At the same time, as you get up the neck, it opens up more options for you. All right, there you have it, the magic of Pagey Tonics. When I first started playing guitar, I used to stay in the first position minor pentatonic box because it was safe. It wasn't until I started learning Led Zeppelin songs and solos that I discovered this pattern and how Jimmy Page uses it. Learning this version of the pentatonic scale opened my eyes and changed my playing for the better. I hope this video helps you if you're looking to break out of the box, so to speak. Well, that's it for now. I'm Rox. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.